garden, Nora? It doesn't look like the garden at my house. There's no dirt or flowers or anything. <laughs> it's not that kind of garden. It's a Japanese sand and rock garden. It's different. Can I play in your garden, Yoko? Well, we don't play in it like a sandbox. What do we do? We look at it like it's a picture. I like that stone. It looks like a little island. It can be an island. Really? Want to draw some lines around your island, Nora? Thanks, Yoko. I made them squiggly to look like waves. Let's pretend we are sitting on Nora Island watching the waves. Okay. What you doing? Playing in Yoko's garden. Ooh, it's a garden? Where's the dirt? It's not like the garden at your house, Doris. It's a special Japanese garden. It's different. Quick sticks, boys and girls, time for school. <laughs> Thanks for letting me play in your garden, Yoko. You're welcome. I like it a lot. Thank you, Nora. I do, too. Before we start today, I want to tell you about a special treat we can look forward to. Tomorrow, for In the Spotlight, Yoko's mother is coming to show us a Japanese tea ceremony. What's a Japanese tea ceremony? We'll learn all about it tomorrow. I like tea parties. Now let's get busy with our day. <gasps> Hi. What are you going to paint, Yoko? Something for In the Spotlight. <gasps> can I help? I'm a good helper. All right. You can help me make decorations if you like. Okay, and I know something else we'll need. You do? This is going to be the best in the spotlight ever. Thanks, Nora. What's that? It's called a kakemono. It's a decoration for the tea ceremony. Oh, tell me about your painting, Yoko. The birds are cranes, and they're for peace and good fortune. And what are the cherry blossoms for? Oh, they're just pretty. <laughs> yes, they are.
pretty picture, Yoko. Thank you. What are those cups for? They're for juice in case someone doesn't like tea tomorrow. We don't have juice at a tea ceremony, Nora. We always have juice at our house, Yoko. And games! We don't play games at a tea ceremony either. You want everyone to have fun, don't you? I guess so. Mama? Yes, my little cherry blossom? Can we have juice at the tea ceremony tomorrow? It is not the custom. We have green tea and sweet cakes made with care. Can we play games? Yoko, is something wrong? No, Mama. It's just that Nora says they do things differently at her house. Then she will enjoy learning how we do things at our house. Do not worry, Cherry Blossom. Everyone will enjoy the tea ceremony. Thank you, Mama. Nora, it's time to pour the Krispies in. <laughs> Look what I found. Yoko's going to love these. See, Jack? <laughs> Did Nora make a big noise? I'm proud of you for helping your friend like this, Nora. Making crispy squares is a wonderful idea. Yeah! Who doesn't love crispy squares? Everyone's going to have fun at Yoko's tea party. <gasps> your flowers look beautiful, Yoko. Thank you. They're part of the tea ceremony. I'm looking forward to learning all about it. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> Aren't they great? Don't worry, Yoko. I brought music, too. We don't put up balloons or play dance music, Nora. We always do at my house. It's not like a tea party at your house, Nora. It's a Japanese tea ceremony. It's different. Oh, no juice or games or balloons or music? No. How about crispy squares? I made them special. They look delicious, Nora, but we have Japanese sweet cakes at a tea ceremony. Okay. Never mind. All right, children, it's time for our special treat. Let's welcome Yoko's mother in the spotlight. Hello! Hello. Hello. Thank you. I am here to show you the Japanese tea ceremony. We call it Chado. The Way of Tea A Japanese tea ceremony is a special way of making tea for honored guests. Today, you are my honored guests. We make tea in a special tea room called a chashitsu. Let's try saying that word, boys and girls. Chashitsu. Chashitsu. I like that word. I do too. Today, Hilltop School is the Chashitsu. It is decorated in the traditional way with kakemono. Kakemono. And chabana. Chabana. These flowers are not arranged in any special way. They are kept simple. Well done, Yoko. You've made such lovely decorations. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins. We must first clean the dishes and dry them for the making of the tea, called temae. Hey! We clean and dry the dishes every day at my house. Yes. The Japanese tea ceremony reminds us that simple things can be special when we pay special attention to them. We enjoy looking at the pretty tea bowl. 
And we enjoy the bubbles playing in the hot water. Ooh, wow. Interesting. We feel the tea warming our hands. Mmm, it smells good. This is how we make tea. Mm. Wow. First, you sip from the cup. Then you wipe the edge and turn the cup this way. Who wants to try? I do, please. Me, me, me too. too. I, I do. do. Nora, you try. Sip. Wipe. Turn. This is very different from a tea party at my house. Who wants to try next? Oh, I, me, I, me, I, me, me, me too. too. Yoko. Thanks, Yoko. Wait, there's more. Mama made special Japanese sweet cakes. Oh dear. What is it, Mama? I forgot to bring the sweet cakes. But we made them specially to end the tea ceremony. I'm sorry, Yoko. What should we do? I know. Nora made crispy squares. Ceremony, don't you, Charles? Uh huh. Do you think there are any more crispy squares? You can have this one. I've got two. <gasps> Thanks, Charles. Thank you for sharing your crispy squares with us, Nora. You're welcome. We make them all the time at our house. And we make Japanese sweet cakes at our house. Only these are much, much bigger. <laughs> Before we go outside for recess, there's one more thing we have to learn. How to say thank you in Japanese. It is very easy. We stand and bow and say arigato. 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 Right! Arigato! Arigato! <laughs> Arigato! <laughs> Arigato, Nora! You're welcome! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Timothy. Good morning, Henry. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hello. Timothy. Hello, Hi. Timothy. Hi, Timothy. Hi, Fritz. Wait till you see what I've got. What is it? It's a book of magic tricks. Wow! Real magic tricks? Shh! It's a secret. Okay. I learned a really good one. Do you want to see it? Okay. Take a close look at this penny. It looks like a normal penny. That's because it is a normal penny. Oh. Now, watch closely. Teach me how to do it? Sure. <laughs> paper for you! Papers! 
Leave that for you. Me first. Huh. Here we go. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> oh. Now, one at a time, boys. You'll, you'll get there just as quickly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a penny, but it will work with any coin. Do you have a cold fit? Uh, I don't think so. Why? Then what is the handkerchief for? Uh, in case I get a cold. That is a good idea. Yes, that is a very good idea. I'll show you when we get to school. Okay. He did it. So then, when I lift up the handkerchief, it's gone. See? Okay, let me try it now. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> For my next trick, I'm going to make a penny disappear before your very eyes. Don't forget to say the magic words. Abracadabra, abracabam. <laughs> make the penny disappear from my hand. I did it. Nice going, Timothy. I can't wait to try it on someone else. I want to show it to everybody first, okay? Okay, when? At recess. Hey, Slowpokes. School's already started, you know. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing. What are you going to make with your clay? I'm going to make a pretty ballerina. I'm going to make a skyscraper. Do you know what I'm making, Mrs. Jenkins? A lizard, just like Norman. I'm sure Norman will like having a new playmate. <laughs> Zach and I are done. Uh-huh, we are all done. It's, it's a soccer, soccer ball. ball. <laughs> you guys always make that. That's a wonderful idea, Frank and Frank, but perhaps you'd like to make something different this time. Something different? That is a good idea. Hey, we could make a basketball. Yeah, a basketball is different. Let's make a spaceship, one that can travel anywhere in the solar system. One that can fly all the way to Mars. Or even Pluto. Timothy calling Fritz. Timothy calling Fritz. We're getting ready to land. Roger, Timothy. Do you see any aliens? <laughs> Three of them. <laughs> But they look friendly. <laughs> be careful anyway. We can't be too sure. Roger, Fritz. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start making the cockpit where the astronauts sit. I'll make the wings. It's a lovely day, Fritz. Aren't you going outside for recess? I just have to find one more thing. Aha! Here it is! Presenting the Fabulous Fritz! <laughs> My, you do look fabulous. Thanks, Mrs. Jenkins.
Wait till they see my trick. Huh? Abracadabra! Wow! <gasps> Great. Where did the penny go? Yeah, where did the penny go? Hey, that's my trick. for our spaceship. What's wrong, Fritz? I don't want to work with you anymore. Huh? What? Why not? You know. What do you mean? Know what? You showed Grace the magic trick. What? I did not. Uh-oh. Then how did she know how to do the trick? I don't know. Where is Grace? Grace? Yes? Who showed you how to do the magic trick? I can't say. Why not? Because it's a secret. But Fritz thinks it was me. Well, just tell him it wasn't. I didn't show anyone the trick, Fritz. Just ask Grace. She'll tell you. I don't need to ask Grace. I already know you told her. Fine. I'll work on my own spaceship. Good. Why doesn't he believe me? Do you want to play dragons and castles? I guess so. Okay, you can be the green dragon, I'll be the purple one. <sighs> I thought Fritz was my friend. I'll roll first, okay? <gasps> Six! One, two, three, four, five. He still thinks I showed you how to do the trick. Oh, don't worry. Tomorrow he won't even remember, and you'll be friends again. He doesn't even believe me. I don't want to be his friend anymore. Oh, no. Maybe you should sit with Fritz on the way home. I don't want to sit with Fritz. That's good, because I don't want to sit with you. Can't you two stop it? You're friends! Not anymore. A good friend would trust me. And a good friend wouldn't show someone else how to do my trick. I didn't. You did too. I did not. Did too. Did not. Did stop it! Timothy didn't show me the magic trick. I peeked in your magic book. But how did you do that? It was in my backpack. Um, I took it out of your backpack. Great. 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 I put it back when I was done. How about this trick? <laughs> I'm not letting anybody saw me in half. <laughs> Look at this one. You can turn a handkerchief into a bird. Wow, how does that work? We're watching her, Timothy. Uh-huh, we are watching her. What are you doing, Grace? Yes, Grace, what are you doing? 
I'm scratching my leg. Mm. We can let her do that. Right, Frank? Yes, we can let her do that. Ugh! This is not fair! There's a picture of the house I grew up in, Timothy. Hey, that looks just like Grandpa's house. It is Grandpa's house. It is? Where's the big tree I always climb? <laughs> right there. It was only a little tree when I took this picture. Wow, it was little. And here's my old soccer team. I don't see you, Dad. <laughs> well, I was taking the picture. You take a lot of pictures. Uh-huh. Yes, your father's quite a shutterbug. A shutterbug? What's that? <laughs> Someone who likes taking pictures. I want to be a shutterbug. All right. I'll get the camera. Really? I could use your camera? As long as you handle it carefully. Oh, I'll be really, really careful. Hmm. Oh, good. There's still lots of pictures left on the film. Great! Because I want to take lots of pictures of my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Quick sticks, children. Choose a shape to sit on. It's time for show and share. Yeah, I, think oh, yeah. <laughs> I want a triangle. Sit beside me, Nora. Wait till you see what I brought. I want to sit over there. All right. Who has something to share with the rest of the class? I do. Oh, I have oh. something, Mrs. Oh. J. Me, I do. Doris? I have a loose tooth. Interesting. Ooh, let's see. A loose tooth. That is a good show and share. It's this one right here. Oh, it's a front tooth this time. Uh-huh. I'll let you know when it falls out. Thank you, Doris. Lily, what do you have to show and share? I found this in Mama's vase on the kitchen table. That's nice, Lily. I like it. Oh, it's pretty. It's very pretty. I can't wait for it to turn into a butterfly. Uh, what? Uh -huh. What do you mean? A butterfly? See? Ah, yes, I do see. Look, boys and girls, a chrysalis. A what? A chrysalis. Let's say that together. Chrysalis! chrysalis. So what is a chrysalis? It's one part of a butterfly's life. A butterfly starts out as a tiny egg which hatches into a caterpillar. The caterpillar eats a lot and grows bigger every day. Then one day, it stops eating and forms a chrysalis. Like this one. The caterpillar is inside. That's right, Lily. It's inside the chrysalis changing bit by bit until one day, it comes out as a butterfly. Wow. That's pretty. When is your butterfly going to come out, Lily? I don't know, but I'm going to keep watching so I don't miss it. Thank you for sharing that with us, Lily. You're welcome. Timothy, what would you like to share with us? I'm learning.
learning how to be a shutterbug. A, a shutterbug? What kind of a bug is that? <laughs> a shutterbug is someone who likes taking pictures. A, a camera. camera! A real camera! Uh-huh. My dad let me borrow it. You look through here, and when you see the picture you want to take, you press this button. Wow! Can we see your pictures, Timothy? I haven't taken any pictures yet, but I'm going to take lots today. And my mom gave me this photo album to put them in. How would you like to be in the spotlight at the end of the day so we can all enjoy your photographs? Yeah! Okay! Yeah! yeah. Hmm, what should I take a picture of first? Hey, Timothy! Ah. Sorry, I just wanted you to take my picture. All right. <sighs> but you don't have to get that close. How's this? That's good. No, wait. I like this better. Okay. No, wait. I said wait. You said it too late. Hmm. Let me see. No! You have to wait until in the spotlight. Ah. But I promise to show yours first. Okay. Thanks, Timothy. <laughs> oh no. I cut off most of her head. I can't put this one in my photo album. This is the play slide and that's the merry-go-round. We won't go for a ride because I don't want you to get dizzy and come out backwards. Did anything happen yet, Lily? Nothing yet, Charles. You can see a daisy patch if you stand over there. Would you like to see some daisies? Thanks, Charles. It will be a good place for my butterfly to visit after she learns how to fly. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Timothy. Take a picture of us, Timothy. Okay. Me first. No, me before you. Me first. No, me before you. Me first. No, me before you. <laughs> Did, Did you, you take, take my, my picture? picture? I took a picture of both of you. Thanks, Timothy. Yeah. Thank you, Timothy. <laughs> You're welcome. What happened? Frank and Frank are all blurry. I don't want that one in my photo album. Whee! Hi, Lily. Look, Timothy, I'm teaching Lilac to fly. Who's Lilac? That's the name I gave my butterfly. Your butterfly? Well, she's not a butterfly yet, but she will be soon. She's going to be a butterfly, and you're going to be a shutterbug! <laughs> yeah, I guess so. If I keep practicing. Oh, we're getting our picture taken, Lilac! Say cheese! Cheese! Thanks, Timothy! You're welcome. Aww, I can hardly see her. I can do better than that. Hey, Timothy! Do you like my space tower? It's great! I'll take a picture of it. Okay, and me too. Look at the camera and don't move. Unless I tell you to. Okay. Move back a bit, Charles. You're blocking the space tower. Back! Back! Oops. Timothy, you told me to back up too far. Hi, Timothy. What's the matter? Being a shutterbug is harder than I thought. Maybe we can help. Take our picture. In front of the school. With Lilac! I haven't taken one with the school in it yet. Come on, let's sit close. Okay. All right. Lily, put Lilac down so she's not in anyone's face. All right. Good. Perfect. Nobody move. 
Say cheese! Cheese! Hi, Henry! Hello there, girls! Looking forward to seeing your photo album, Timothy. It's empty, Yoko. I haven't taken one picture that's good enough. When do I get to see my picture, Timothy? Um, when I'm in the spotlight, Doris. <laughs> this is going to be the shortest in the spotlight of all time. <sighs> I have to get one picture to show. Mrs. Jenkins. Yes, Timothy? Can I take a picture of the whole class for my photo album? A class picture? That's a grand idea. Quick sticks, children. Timothy wants to take a class picture. Big children at the back, smaller ones in front. Nobody move! Nothing's coming. No one's moving. This is it. Say cheese! Cheese! Well done, Timothy. I can't wait to see your other photographs. Everyone, let's put our art supplies away and get ready for In the Spotlight. I can't wait to see your pictures too, Timothy. I wish you and Lilac were in the spotlight instead of me, Lily. <gasps> Lilac! I forgot her outside on the steps. Lilac is gone, Mrs. J. I'm sorry, Lily. I never got to say goodbye to her. I think Lilac was a very lucky butterfly because you gave her a wonderful start. Do you really think so? I do. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Jenkins. Now, Timothy, why don't you show us your photographs? Okay, but they didn't turn out the way I wanted them to. <gasps> Look! It's a picture of my loose tooth! Wow! Look how fast I am going! I am going fast too! Good picture, Timothy! Yeah, it is a very good picture! Wow, there's the school bus! Look at Charles! <laughs> how did you get him to make that funny face? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone likes your photographs, Timothy! I guess they're all good enough to put in my album. I wish I saw Lilac fly away, Timothy. I wish you did too, Lily. I think this class picture is wonderful. What do you think, Shutterbug? I like it. It's not blurry, I can see everybody, and I didn't cut anyone's head off. And what's that? Hey, it's a butterfly. <gasps> Lilac! She's beautiful. Can I see? There she is. She's wonderful. What's the secret password? <laughs> Somersault! You may enter! <laughs> okay, promise not to tell anyone the password. I promise. It's our secret friendship fort. Only we can get in. Nora! Shh! <laughs> Nora? I know you're in there. <laughs> I thought you were in there. Open up. What's the secret password? I don't know. Then we can't open up. Okay. But I have milk and cookies. Okay, we'll open up. Mm. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. You're welcome. Maybe we should tell your mom the password. No, then it won't be just our secret friendship fort. 
only we get to use the password. Okay. Somersault! Somersault! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's that? Oh, it's my special stone. I found it in the summer. Pretty colors. Feel it. Oh, it's so smooth. I know. I like to hold it. Why do you keep it on the floor? <laughs> I don't. I keep it in my pocket. I guess it fell out when I did my somersault. I have something I carry in my pocket, too. A lucky penny. Wow. Why is it lucky? Well, remember the mitten I lost? The red one? Uh-huh. I found it after I got the penny. Really? Uh-huh. It was behind a tree in the backyard. Wow! It is a lucky penny. Hello, Leopold. Hello, Oliver. Lovely day, isn't it? Yes, it's a very lovely day with a very lovely breeze. It's the kind of day that's perfect for holding a pinwheel. Yes, it is. I don't have a pinwheel myself. Oh, what a shame. Yes, it is. I should borrow one from a friend. Borrow Leopold's! Shh! Good idea, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> May I borrow yours, Leopold? Of course. What are friends for? Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Ah! How do you stop this thing? <laughs> uh oh! I brought back your pinwheel. <gasps> Oliver! My pinwheel! What did you do to it? It's a very windy day, and... and... You broke it! Yes, I'm really sorry, Leopold. That's okay, Oliver. It was an accident. Are we still friends? Of course, I'll be friends with you no matter what. Thanks, Leopold. Whoa, my goodness, you're right, Oliver. It is very windy today. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the show, children. Too bad Oliver broke the pinwheel. Now they can't play. It's okay, they are best friends. They can do something else together. That's right, their friendship is very special. Now each of you can make your own friendship puppet and later we'll all put on a puppet show. Okay! That sounds like fun. I can't wait! I want each of you to pick a partner to make a puppet with. Hey, Nora! You and I can be puppet partners. Uh, hmm? Okay, Doris. Here you go, Lily. Thanks, Mrs. J. Oh, I wish Nora was my partner. Lily! Lily, come and sit with me! Don't you want Doris to sit with you? I want you to sit with me. Are you sure? Yes! I'm sorry I couldn't be your puppet partner. Doris picked me first. I didn't want to hurt her feelings. You are still my best friend. Really? Yes. Here, I want to give you this. <gasps> but it's your special stone. I know, take it. It's our friendship stone. Whoa! I want to give you my lucky penny because you're my best friend. Thanks! I 
lucky? Nora, my lucky penny, Mama, because she's my best friend. And here's what she gave me. It's very pretty. And smooth. It's a friendship stone, because I'm Nora's best friend. That makes it very special. I know, and I need a safe place to put it when I'm not at school. I think I might have just the thing. Here you are. That's perfect. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> Everything looks funny upside down. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, I feel dizzy. Me too! Whew, that's better. Let's go play on the swings. Okay. Dear, let me help you look for it. Hi, Lily. What are you looking for? A stone! Here's one. That's not it! What are you doing? Nora gave me her special stone, and I gave her my lucky penny because we're best friends. Uh-oh. You lost the stone, huh? Yes. Why don't you just tell her? Then she won't be friends with me anymore. I wish I had my lucky penny right now. Then I could find the stone. Do you want me to try to get it back from Nora? Do you think you can? I can try. Thanks, Timothy. Got it. Aw, not again. You always get the easy sticks to pick up. Sorry, Timothy. That's okay. I'm just not very lucky today. Hey, Nora. Lily says that you have a lucky penny. Can I borrow it? I'm sorry, Timothy. This is a special friendship penny from Lily. I can't let you have it. And now it's time for Nora and Lily to put on their puppet show. Can I come into your fort? What's the secret password? Tulip? No. Is it Daisy? No. Is it Petunia? No. Is it spaghetti and meatballs? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know the secret password. I guess that means I can't get in. The secret password is best friend. And since you are my best friend, you can come in anytime you want. Thanks, Nora. You are my best friend, too. Thank you. Thank you, Nora and Lily. That was a wonderful puppet show. We can see you are really good friends. Thanks, Mrs. Jenkins. But that's not all. Lily gave me her lucky penny because I'm her best friend. And I gave Lily my friendship stone because she is my best friend. Well... Uh, well, 
Come on, Lily, show them the stone I gave you. Wow! wow. That's wow. great! Huh? That's not the friendship stone. I know. I lost it, Nora. What? You lost the stone? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose it. Why didn't you tell me? Because I thought you wouldn't be my friend anymore. Lily, you will always be my friend. Really? Oh, thanks, Nora. You'll always be my friend, too. Forgiving Lily is a sign of your good friendship. Now, why don't we all go out to the schoolyard and search for the friendship stone? Yeah, I'll help Let's you by the swings. It's a brand new day, so come on and play in a world that's waiting for you. We're about to begin, so come on in. There's so much to do at school, and you can do anything if you try. With friends like Timothy by your side, there's a new adventure. In Children. Wow! It's a mess! <gasps> it's a big mess. I guess it's time to play the place race. If it's a race, we'll win. Right, Frank? Right, Frank! What's the place race? It's a race to put everything in its proper place. Everybody ready? Ready! ready. Go! Timothy, that book goes on the bookshelf. Thanks, Doris. Grace, those pencils go in the pencil jar. Yes, I know, Doris. <laughs> Frank and Frank, make sure those balls go in the basket. Two points. Four points. Go, Frank, go. <laughs> okay, children, the place race is over. And you all win. Yay! Now, before you go home, I have an announcement. Tonight, I want you to think about something special you'd like to paint. Tomorrow, you're all going to paint a picture. Yay! All right! Yay! I can't wait to paint. What about you, Doris? I don't know. I don't paint a lot. Huh? What? Everybody loves painting. Painting is fun. <sighs> Doris! Yes, Mom? Oh, <laughs> tell your brothers to come to the dinner table. Okay, Mom. <gasps> Morris! 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 Mom says to come to the dinner table! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I get to sit beside Dad. No fair. Oh. I get to sit beside Boris. I get to sit across from Boris. <gasps> Doris, you sit here. Okay. So, what happened in school today? Mrs. Jenkins... I traded lunch and got two jam sandwiches for one bologna. Oh. Wow! Mrs. Jenkins says... I held my breath for two minutes. Oh. Great! Mrs.
Mrs. Jenkins says... I hopped on one foot all through recess. All, all right! right. Uh, Mrs. Jenkins! We can hear you, Doris. Mrs. Jenkins says we're going to paint tomorrow. We're supposed to think of something to paint. I painted the house once. You did? Yep. It used to be green, and I painted it blue. <laughs> now, is everyone ready to paint? Yes! yes! First of all, we're going to make colors. Look at the ones you have in front of you. Who knows what those colors are? Oh, I do. Oh, Me too. Oh, oh, oh. Grace? That's red, that's yellow, and that's blue. Very good. And with these three colors, called primary colors, you can make all the other colors. But how do you make them? By mixing two of the colors together. Let's all try. Hey, I mixed red and yellow and I made orange. I mixed yellow and blue and I made green. I made purple by mixing blue and red. See what happens if you add white or black to a color. Look, Charles mixed red and white and made pink. That's very pretty, Charles. Oh! Look what we made! Football brown! Go, go Frank, go! go. <laughs> <laughs> I mixed a bunch of colors and I got this. What is that color? I don't know, but I like it. It's weird. Yeah, I've never seen a football that color. I like it. Now that you can make colors, it's time to start painting. But what are we supposed to paint? Anything you like. You can paint something that makes you feel good, something you like to look at, or something that makes you smile. Whatever you want. everyone. Now we're going to have our own art show. Let's see what you painted. I painted a picture of me with my mom and dad outside our house. I painted a bird on a cherry blossom branch. I painted a flower with four petals and three leaves. I painted Mrs. Jenkins because she makes me smile. Thank you, Charles. Good work, Lily. Thanks, Mrs. Jenkins. Right. Who hasn't shown their painting? Oh, oh, oh! Doris, what did you paint? Um, I painted this. That's, That's weird. weird. It's, it's... What is it? I don't know. Then why did you paint it? I don't know. I just liked it. Um, I like it too. Even if I don't know what it is? Let's see, listening ears, children. I've got a surprise for you. These are permission slips for you to take home and give to your parents. Because tomorrow, we're going to a museum to see some famous paintings. Oh. Wow! <laughs> I ate three bowls of spaghetti at lunch. I learned how to do this with my tongue. Uh, I ran backwards all the way through recess. And what about you, Doris? I painted this. What is it? Why'd you paint that? Why didn't you paint me? It looks...
looks like you. Yeah, oh. big blue blob. Morris, Horace, Morris, that's enough. Do you like it, Mom? It's very nice, Doris. I think you should put it on the fridge, dear. Yes, that's just what I'll do. Mom! It's upside down! <laughs> <laughs> Quick sticks, children. Line up and get ready to go to the museum. We'll just make sure everyone is here. Yes, yes, yes. Wait. Where's Doris? There she is, around the corner. Doris, don't you want to come to the museum? No. But why? I'm not a good painter like everyone else. Nobody likes my painting. I like it. Come along to the museum, Doris. I think you'll be surprised. <laughs> Listening ears, children. This museum is filled with all kinds of paintings. Miss Appleberry will guide you through the museum. As you walk through, you may see something that reminds you of your painting. Everyone, pick a buddy and stick with them all the time. <laughs> museum buddies, everyone! <laughs> um, will you be my museum buddy? Okay, Charles. In this room, you'll see pictures of trees and fields and lakes. These are called landscapes. Wow, there's a tree like mine. They aren't like mine. And here we have some still life paintings. That's what you call paintings of flowers or fruits. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, those flowers are like mine. And when you paint a picture of someone, it's called a portrait. <laughs> I wonder if he painted his mom and dad, too. Oh, Mrs. J, no one paints like me. Come into the next room, everyone. Come and see this. This kind of painting is called abstract. That means the paintings don't look real, like the other paintings we've seen. These ah. artists paint this way because they like the way it looks. What is that? That, that is, is weird. weird. These are real paintings. I think I like the other room better. Wow. I like these paintings. They look like mine. What do you think, Charles? They're almost as good as yours. Thanks, Charles. We like these paintings, Mrs. J. Can Charles and I stay here? <laughs> All right, Doris. How's that? A little higher on the left? That's perfect. I think that's my favorite one yet. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Mom says you're supposed to come for dinner. What are you doing? I'm making a museum of my paintings. Who's gonna see them in here? Me and Charles. Whenever he wants, right? Right. Come on, it's dinner time, Charles. <laughs> I get to I get the my dad. And remember, you're going to have to speak up. <laughs> Make it go higher! 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 The Franks are on fire! <laughs> Ow! <gasps> oh no. Are you okay, Timothy? Yeah.
Not like that. Like this. You see, it's easier. I don't feel dizzy. Come on! Higher! 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 The Franks never tire! And then Frank hit the ball back over to me? Yes. And I hit it the way he said? Yes. And I didn't even get dizzy. Wow! And then Frank hit the ball high in the air. You should have seen it. Right, Frank and Frank? Right, yeah, right. Ooh, great bike. Yeah, that's a really great bike. Hey, it doesn't have training wheels. I don't need training wheels. Training wheels are for little kids. For babies. Yeah, babies. <laughs> yeah, babies. Goo goo. <laughs> ga ga. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, Timothy. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. Guess what? Frank and Frank are going to sleep over tonight. Big Frank has to use his bulldozer to fix a bridge. What? Here? Tonight? Yes, dear. Oh. I thought you liked Frank and Frank. I do, but... What? Are they staying for dinner? Yes. Well, don't use those. Use the real plates. But I thought you liked these plates. Well, I don't want Frank and Frank to think I'm a baby. Okay. I gotta go clean up my room. Pinky, I have to hide you, or the Franks will laugh at me. Don't worry, it's just for tonight. Let's hustle, guys. Okay. Now, don't forget to pack your jammies. Okay. And uh, don't forget your manners either, huh? We won't. Yeah, we won't. Okay, partners. I want pleases and, and thank yous from you both. <laughs> okay. Now, it's okay to ask for seconds, but uh, be polite. You guys understand? Yeah. yeah. That's my boys. <laughs> Forgot this. Hey, what was that? Nothing. Yeah, I was. No. What was it? Get off! This is my bag. Hey! <coughs> not fair! Oh! 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 Hey, 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 now this isn't the time for fun and games. You can play at Timothy's house. Yeah! Bye, Dad. Yeah, bye. Hey! Haha, <laughs> 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 now you can't get me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's under here? Boys! Dinner! Dinner! Go, Franks, go! Go, Franks, go! Go, Franks, go! <laughs> Great Franks and beans! Best we ever had! Thank you, boys. <laughs> Can I have some more? 
I mean, can I have some more, please? Me before you, me first. Me before you, me first. Hey, no fair. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll both go first. Please. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Me too, please. <laughs> I'm winning. No, I'm winning. <clears throat> Uh, why don't we go outside and shoot some hoops? Yeah! Great idea! Yeah! Great dinner, thanks! Yeah, thanks! Me before you, me first! Hey! Me before you, me first! You're welcome, boys! I'll try to wear them out before bed. <laughs> <sighs> One, two, me against you. Three, four, I'm gonna score. Fawo! Was not! Was two! You're just mad, cause I'm winning. Not for long. Hey! <laughs> 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 Now who's winning? Okay, that's enough basketball for tonight, I think. <laughs> I won. <laughs> <laughs> Let's race. Okay. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! I win, I win. Yeah. Now we have to eat you. Yeah, gobble you up. <laughs> you can't eat me. Can too. Yeah, can too. Ah! Oops! <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum! <laughs> Good thing you tired them out, dear. <laughs> Time to get ready for bed, boys. Okay, okay. Okay. Come on, let's get your teeth brushed. <sighs> take that! No, <laughs> you take that! <laughs> hey! Ew! <laughs> Here! Thanks. <laughs> Come on, Timothy. Time for bed. Okay. Is there anything you need before lights out? Nope. nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Good night, boys. Night, Dad. Night. Yeah, night. 
What's that? I, I don't know. I don't know either. What's this? It's Bully! You brought that baby toy? Is that what you were hiding? Now the whole school is going to find out and laugh at us! But Bully makes me feel better at night. I have a favorite bedtime toy, too. He's Pingy. We won't tell if you won't tell. Yeah, I won't tell. Promise? I promise. <laughs> 